Good afternoon, girls. For our returning viewers, thanks for coming back. And for the girls that haven't seen our virtual programs yet, thanks for tuning in. Let me get started by introducing who I am. My name is Honora, and I work in the programs department for the Girl Scouts of Suffolk County. Now, because of all this craziness that's been going on, I know that everybody is home. It's kind of difficult for you to get your badges when you are at home, but we're here to help. My colleagues, Denzel, Amanda, and I, who all work in the programs department, are going to be facilitating different programs virtually on our Facebook and our Instagram Live. All of the supplies for these programs are going to be listed on our Facebook and Instagram, so you have nothing to worry about. We don't want you going out and buying new things when we're supposed to be social distancing. So all of these products are typical ingredients that you have in your home. Today's program is dedicated for our brownies. Now, let me start off by asking a quick question. What is a scientist? That's right, a scientist is a person who explores the world around them by observing, by describing, and by experimenting. There is all different types of science in the world. There are people that study the space, those are astronomists. There are people that study life, that's biology. Some people study the earth, that's geology. And some people study matter and energy, that's physics. But there's one science that I haven't talked about, and that's what you are going to be doing today. Can anyone tell me what that is? You guessed it, home science. So if you can hang tight for a couple seconds, we're going to dive into some density and we're going to make a cool lava lamp. So I'm sure we've all seen the mesmerizing view of a lava lamp. You get to see the bubbles. Um, they lift up, they sink to the bottom, and they even morph into different shapes. Now, if we go back to the science behind it, it's because of the density and the polarity of the substances inside of the lava lamp. Now, let's talk about density first. Can anyone tell me what density is? Well, to put it in simpler terms, density is how compact the molecules are inside of a liquid. We're gonna see this more once we start our first step. So let's get started. Let me introduce you to what ingredients you need. You're gonna need an empty water bottle, some regular tap water, an Alka-Seltzer uh, tablet, food coloring, um, I chose my color. My favorite color is teal, so I chose mine. These are gel food coloring, but you can always get the liquid. And you're also going to need some type of oil. So I'm using vegetable oil, you can use canola, you can do um, olive oil, peanut oil, whatever you'd like. All right, so the first step is to open up your bottle. Okay, now I'm gonna fill up my water bottle about halfway up the bottle. Now let's just mention science doesn't always work exactly how we'd like, but that's okay. So I just had to take the top off of my oil container just because it wasn't going in there fast enough. So I'm gonna continue with what I'm doing. Okay. All right, so that's about halfway. And now I'm going to fill up the rest of my bottle with water. Now keep an eye on what is happening inside of the water bottle. Take a closer look. Can we see what's happening? All right, so you could see that the water sunk to the bottom and the oil floated to the top. That's because the water is more dense than the oil is, which means it's gonna sink because it's heavier. Okay, so the next step is we are going to add 
a few drops of our food coloring. Okay. All right. You can see my color on the bottom. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up my little dish conveniently. I'm gonna open up my Alka-Seltzer tablets. Okay, and I'm gonna actually break these into little pieces. to be big pieces they could be little okay perfect now I'm going to add my Alka-Seltzer tablets into my water bottle now let's see what's happening there. how cool is that All right, so one is density, and that's why the colors, um, I'm sorry, the liquids separated. Now the reason why we we're able to see that none of these mixtures are, I'm sorry, none of these liquids are mixing together is because of their polarity. So water molecules are polar because they have lopsided electrical charge. Oil, however, is not polar, so they don't have a positive or negative charge. So they're not attracted to each other, and they're not attracted to the water, which we see that the water and oil do not mix, and adding the Alka-Seltzer makes it bubble up, causing a lava lamp effect. All right, so hang tight. We're gonna get started on our next activity. This next activity is going to show us the cool thing about um, static electricity. Now, you have positive electrons and you have negative electrons. And they typically either attract to each other or they don't attract to each other. So for this experiment, I'm gonna show you a quick way to uh, add some energy to a balloon using your own hair. And we're gonna be able to see a cool little experiment. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is to put some black pepper onto a paper plate. Okay, and you can add a little salt. Okay, I'm just gonna shake that up, mix it up a little bit. All right, now the next step is to blow up your balloon. I'm gonna tie my balloon. All right, so now, unfortunately, my hair has a little bit of product in it, so it might not work as well, but I'm going to try. I'm gonna use the under of my hair. Okay, we're causing friction. Okay. So we're giving this balloon a little extra protract. Watch, see how it's attracting to my hair? <laughs> Static electricity, my friends. Okay, so now we're going to use the balloon and I'm going to gently put it over my salt and my pepper and let's see what happens. Pretty cool, right? So you see how the salt and the pepper is attracting to the balloon? They're making it dance a little bit. You can also take a balloon and do the same thing with your hair and bring it over to a running sink. So the stream of water, if you put your balloon right next to it, the water will 
magically bend. Okay, so our second part of this program is to do, um, to make something bubble. So we all love bubbles, right? This is one of my favorite experiments to do. It's colorful, it's exciting, and you get to do it with basic ingredients. So you're gonna need a cup of baking soda, you're gonna need a cup of vinegar, and just a couple of drops of any color food coloring. Now for mine, I'm actually gonna use two different colors because I just wanna see the colors mixing together. All right, so what I recommend is because this is a bubbly project or activity, you wanna make sure that you're not making a mess of your family's home. So what I do recommend is maybe getting um, a sheet pan, like a cookie sheet pan, um, aluminum foil tray. You can even put some newspaper down over a table, but just to protect the surfaces and makes it easier cleanup that you can do, have more fun again and again. All right, so I have my cup of baking soda inside of my mason jar, okay? And now I'm gonna add a couple drops of food coloring. So I'm gonna add like two drops of hot pink. I'm gonna add two drops of my purple food coloring. You know what? I'm gonna even add the blue or teal. I'm feeling creative. Okay, perfect. All right. Are we ready? Okay, now I'm gonna slowly pour in my vinegar. I love those colors. How cool is that? Mine kind of looks like a galaxy if you look close. Now you can always alter this and be a little creative. You can always add sparkles too. And you can continue to add your vinegar until all that baking soda is nice and dissolved. All right, stay tuned for our next part. All right, so we're coming closer to the end of this program for you to get your brownie home scientist badge. But before we begin our last activity, which I think that you girls are really going to enjoy, it's fun and it's tasty too. Um, I want you to go into your bathroom, kitchen, whatever, go wash your hands. I'm sure you've heard this many, 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 many times over the last couple of weeks, but I want you to wash your hands. Soap and water for 20 seconds, warm water gets rid of all those germs, and then you can come back and we'll get started. All right, so the reason that I had you girls wash your hands, besides basic hygiene, especially today, um, I wanted you to wash your hands because we're going to be doing some kitchen science. Now, this activity, I'm sure you've done before, except it's altered a little bit so you can actually eat it. We're gonna be making some edible slime. The ingredients that are involved in this activity are instant pudding, Mine's vanilla. You could pick regular Jello, strawberry, cherry, whatever flavor you'd like. You're gonna be using a cup of, and you're gonna use a quarter cup of the pudding or Jello, and you're gonna be using a full cup of cornstarch and a third of a cup of warm water. Now I accidentally put some of my ingredients in here already, so I only put half the amount of my cornstarch. So. I only put half a cup in so far and only half of my water content in there. All right, so now I'm gonna mix this together. All right, now I'm gonna add some more water. And now I'm gonna add some more of my cornstarch and my last quarter cup. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna get down in there and mix it up with my hands. 
This is the fun part. It's gonna get sticky, gooey. Okay, so you're gonna keep combining that with your hands or a spoon until all of the ingredients are fully combined into a dough-like form. All right, so it's starting to really form into kind of like a Play-Doh consistency. If it's too sticky, you can always add more cornstarch. Oh yeah. And then you'll have your slime and you'll be ready to stretch that up and have fun playing. And just so you believe me, mm, it's good. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, girls, so that is it for today for our Brownie Home Scientist program. I hope that you had as much fun as I did doing these experiments, and I hope that you're staying safe and you're staying healthy. Please tune back for some more programs throughout the week, and we will see you soon. Bye.